Hello Acadiana, I'm Katie Lopez with your latest news update. Well, we have new information from LPSS. They're making some changes to the school schedule. Everyone will start on September 8th as planned and for the first week it'll be an AB schedule. The second week of school, September 14th, kids in grades 1 to 5 will go every day. Students in grades 6 to 12 will remain on that AB schedule. Now, families who are enrolled in the Lafayette Online Academy will have until September 3rd to change that registration. For all of that information, you can head over to KTC.com. Governor John Bell Edwards will hold a briefing on the state's response to the pandemic. It begins at 3 and you can watch it here on KTC or you can stream it live on KTC.com. Now we are learning more, uh, learning that more than half of the country hasn't yet committed to the new plan for federal unemployment. While President Trump signed legislation for $400 a week from the government, several states would have to pay a quarter of that cost to give people the full benefits. A survey conducted by the Associated Press shows that only 18 states say that they will take the federal grant. 30 are still evaluating the offer and two have turned it down. Happening today during LCG's meeting, council members are requesting more information about the findings of the LUS forensic audit. Also in the, on the agenda, the final adoption of an ordinance serving city and parish rec funds so the city council can make their own decision on city rec centers, and an ordinance to hire an attorney to represent the city council in disputes with administration. That will also be introduced. New Iberia police are looking for a man allegedly involved in a June shooting. Now this is a picture of Antoine Jones. He's accused of shooting a 13 year old and 18 year old. Officials have issued a warrant for Jones's arrest and he's facing two counts of first degree murder. Jones is considered armed and dangerous and you are asked to contact Iberia Crime Stoppers if you know his whereabouts. Well, let's move on to the weather now. We've got temperatures today that are going to push their way up to about 96 degrees in the afternoon. It is going to be a hot one out there, but plenty of sunshine and a little bit drier as well. It's not quite as humid out there this afternoon and because it is dry, it will keep us fairly comfortable going overnight tonight. 72 degrees for that overnight low. And if we look ahead through the next several days, we'll see temperatures in the low 90s starting on Wednesday, going through the end of the week and on into the weekend.